What's up, YouTube world? I want to talk to you guys today about when you hire somebody on a 1099. I talked to an IRS uh, person on the phone. They said it is a uh, tax write-off. So if you have a 1099, it reduces your uh, tax liability. Whatever that means to you, check it out. Uh, talk to a CPA. You can always call the IRS for uh, business advice. They have an 800 number. Check them out. They got a great website, um, irs.gov. Um, but anyhow, to the point. When you hire somebody, you hire them on a 1099. That should be your first employee. That person can help you mow the front yard or the backyard. And when they're mowing or doing the front or backyard, what is happening is um, they are showing you that they can be by themselves unsupervised, but once they're done in the backyard, you have an opportunity to see how well they mowed the yard. See, that's the important part. When you're working with another member you want to trust them without always being around to supervise them. You don't micromanage your people. You manage, you lead, but you lead by teaching, giving direction, good sound direction, uh, milestones, when it should be completed. Uh, you got to set the expectation high because they're going to fall short. That's what employees do. They show up for a paycheck, they go home, and they enjoy their evenings. They come to work. It's not always fun going to work. So always set the milestones high enough where the quality is high. Find good employees or subcontractors. 1099 is a subcontractor. Um, it really gives them the incentive to go work harder when they're 1099 sometimes they might even find additional clients to help I mean they feel like they're a part of the team when they feel like they own a part of the your your business um, I mean it, there's great opportunity when you hire employees you can hire an employee for the office, which I wouldn't do a 1099. I would W-2 them. Or you can get a virtual office assistant to get started. Once you get an office assistant, a virtual office assistant, uh, answering the phones and all that, after you get enough business where you're able to pay someone thirty or $40,000 a year, plus the benefits, plus the holidays, paid holidays and all that off, plus a 401k or something similar to that. That's what a secretary or a receptionist does. I really like the overall idea of um, just really being um, in a uh, kind of a standalone business where I don't have to micromanage somebody. I like to lead. I like to give them examples on how to do their job correctly. So when they go do it and I come back and see what they've done, they followed the directions to the best of their ability. And it helps you by, you know, doing more yard work, being more profitable. And when you're more profitable, you can pay your employees better. You can take more vacations. You can uh, save more. You can fill that 401k, that IRA, that whatever retirement plan. You can max that out. You know, if it's uh, two thousand a year or four thousand a year or five thousand a year, you can max that baby out. Um, you put money aside. You, you put like ten, twenty thousand dollars aside, just in case something happens. Maybe uh, a job doesn't. Maybe the 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 person that hired you can't pay you for whatever reason they planned it they uh, 
you know, got everything going. You went out there with your own money. And they kind of reneged on the issue. Then they took you to court to triple sue you. Like uh, Stanley Genetic talks about. Like some contractors will take you to court and triple sue you. But that's something else. Uh, that's something else uh, for another time. Check out uh, Dirt Monkey, Stanley, Genetic. Um, but I like the idea of having a secretary. That's a W-2. Employees out in the field, 1099. There are other ways to do uh, employees. I'm not going to share that right now. I'm going to share that on my Patreon page. Uh, go to Patreon. Check out my videos, my networking videos, my how to uh, do business videos. I mean, there are so many videos. And I know other people have done them, but sometimes you got to hear my story versus their story. Sometimes I say it differently and it makes sense to you. Sometimes you may need to hear the same thing told to you five different ways before it really makes sense to you. Um, some people are different personalities. Some people are extroverts. Some people are dry and explain things super dry. And you're like, this is boring, but he's making a point because it's deep. It's monotone. Um, but it's fun, you know, when you can teach people, when you can teach your employees how to do what you do, that's going to be a big start. When you grow your business to a certain level, that's going to be a big start. When you um, don't have issues, when you don't have problems, that's going to be a big start. When your employees uh, perform at a high level, then you hire them as the uh team lead, the supervisor, the foreman, the project manager, that's going to be a big area where you can go to the next level in the overall business of being out of the field, being out of the office, not in the office every day, where you can work from home, supervise the employees from home, go into the office maybe once a day uh, in the afternoon just to clarify everything. See, you, you don't want to be micromanaging your people, like I said earlier. You never want to over-micromanage people. You want to have things that people know how to do. They're like checkpoints. Once they, they get that accomplished, it goes into the file somewhere. It goes into a computer system. And as they get those things completed, you know the mode, edged, uh, blew the, the hardscapes and uh, any other areas. They trimmed uh, what they needed to trim. Let's say the hedges and all that. You know, whatever the, the task is, whatever the project is, that they get all that done. It's it's milestones. When when they complete milestones, that information gets sent to you so you can read it, so you can update it, so you know who completed it, so you can find out who signed off on it, the supervisor, the project manager, whoever it is that it's in your structure. It's all about really thinking big, but starting today, starting small, and listening to people like Keith Kelfis, uh, Brian Lawn Maintenance, uh, Lawn Care Rookie. Um, you want to listen to these people top notch. Uh, you want to listen to these people. And when you want to go big, you listen to Lawn Care Millionaire, uh, Jonathan Potosnik. Uh You want to go big because... It's opportunity. It's opportunity where it will change your family's uh, position in life. And you can hand that company off to your children. Instead of selling it to someone that doesn't really care about the company, you know, you, you keep it in your family for generations. And hopefully they see the value. Hopefully in the third and fourth and fifth generation, they see the value of that company that you started 
you know, over a century ago. When you were young, you, you had the appetite to build something more than just showing up at a call center or a warehouse or being a manager at a fast food restaurant. But once you have the opportunity to move ahead and get ahead, that's what you do. You build dreams, you set goals, you have a vision, and your vision starts with first having your first employee. I say it's your assistant out in the field, meaning your first employee, 1099. If, if you want to do W-2, W-2. But make sure you get all the proper uh, paperwork done, you know. Or when you hire them, you get the right paperwork from like a online resource of HR, uh, QuickBooks, um, and other websites can refer you to that. Um, IRS can help you out too. Um, state agencies can help you out, like the local tax department. Um, a lawyer can help you out. CPA will help you out. Um, what else? I think it's uh, called... Uh, There's a pay service, uh, the payroll service, and a lot of them will help you out there. Help getting your first employee as a W-2 or 1099, and they give you the paperwork. They'll take care of all that stuff, and you just uh, you know pay the bill. It's a tax write-off. Uh, in a way, that's kind of your tax rule. I mean, uh, your payroll, your uh, accounting department. And it, it's fun when you can sit there and talk about your business that you have a CPA that that you get payroll. You know, you, you you have to meet payroll. That's pretty exciting when you have to pay thousands of dollars a month in payroll, and people are depending on you. That's pretty exciting. And when you have ten people depending on you, that that's even more exciting. And when you have ten and twenty and fifty people depending on you, and you got a very successful business that's going to be exciting because you know when you have that many employees you know your business is very big and it's going to be big enough to pay your bills save and get ahead you're going to have a great retirement and it all starts today in making the right decision finding out the right information following the rules following the rules and that's it Thank you.